because now we've got the voices from the film. We introduced the Gorn, which I don't know if you ever saw the, yeah. uh, you ever see the arena episode? Yeah, that yeah totally. So we took, you know, it's really cool because J.J. Abrams and those guys kind of blew out the, uh, blew out the universe when they changed, you know, the timeline in the last movie. And that lets us kind of do some cool things with Gorn, new enemy types, weapons. It's, it's pretty cool. Justice is the next fighting game out in Netherrealm Studios. Um, this time we're set solely in the DC universe. So you've got these big iconic characters like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash. And we've got these just massive destructible environments that we're playing around in. We want this to be, be a very epic cinematic feel to our game. So you're going to see huge environments, a lot of interactable objects, and just this great cast of characters. have all the great action and all the moments that made the Dead Space franchise what it is, but now I have an option to bring to share that experience with friends, which if you think about it, it makes sense. Because if I go to a horror movie, I'm going to bring Elena with me so that we can team up and take down the terror together. There's nothing real about a video game. Uh, you know, combat is combat, games are games, and games are entertainment. But we try to remain absolutely authentic and, and respectful, and like I said, pay tribute. So when it comes to authenticity, you know, that we're talking about weapon systems and battle chatter and the cadence of speech and the types of locations and the gear and the kit. You know, we're working with over two dozen uh, product partners, you know, like LBT, McMillan Rifles, Mechanics, um, uh, US Optics, uh, Kanan Sunglasses, a lot of the manufacturers that are actually making the gear for these operators while they deploy overseas, you know, we're remaining absolutely authentic when it comes to, you know, like I said, speech and music and voice and all the things that make uh, a shooter feel like it's relatable and, and, and a part of this community. Um, so for us, you know, we start with a good story. We, that we, you know, great technology in Frostbite 2 and just add our Medal of Honor spin to it. And uh, again, like I said, try to remain as authentic and plausible um, as, as possible. City. We also have uh, indoors missions. Most most of those are very story driven, and we go in between city and uh, and story missions. called Sword Riku over to his mysterious tower and basically let him know that there's an impending threat and they're not currently strong enough to fight against them. Uh, the reason for that being that they've trained themselves how to use the Keyblade. They haven't gone through the proper training that the true Keyblade Master should go through. So yes, it decides to send them to the city worlds where they're cast to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. If they can come back from that mission successfully, they'll be granted new abilities, new powers, and be considered true Keyblade Masters. 